Hi, I'm Daniel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install NS3 in the Windows Linux subsystem. We have a lot of methods to install our NS3. It might be uh, Ubuntu installed in VirtualBox or in the any platform. We can. There are a lot of methods are there. So in this video, it's particularly about how to install our NS3 in Linux. So, uh, in order to download, you have to go to the NSNAM page, release page. We have a lot of release over there. Currently, it's 3.442. So, you get the release and uh, extract the file. Then, these are the prerequisites. So, uh, you have to make sure whether G++ or sorry, Clang++ version is greater than 9 or 10. And, and make sure uh, CMake also installed in your uh, machine. So another thing is, uh, if you haven't, uh, not check whether these tools are installed or not, uh, you can check G++ version. So it will show you whether uh, which version of, of uh, uh, that compiler is installed in your machine. So, and also you can uh, check CMake and Python 3 version as well as. We can do that so if you haven't uh, if you are not able to see any g plus plus or c make version installed in your system you can uh, install the prerequisite using sudo apt install g plus plus so uh, or c make or python 3 you can use this command to do that so once uh, once everything you have installed then you can straight away go into that um, directory um, like uh, cd ns all in one ns 3.42 ns 3.42 so in this directory you have to move after that you have to give this command dot ns3 configure examples enable test and then you have to build so based upon your ram and uh, system configurations it will say take certain time to build your uh, ns3 once everything is compiled you can go to this example directory tutorials and you can run this first.cc file it will run and uh, it will give you the result so this is how you can do that so now i'm going to show you how to uh, do that so first uh, you have to go to uh, this uh, nsnam list you can type as ns3 download so this download ns3 nsam or then releases you will be able to see get the latest release and copy uh, uh, click this link it is the down downloadable link you can copy this link then you can open the ubuntu that i have installed in the windows uh, uh, windows sub linux system so in here you can go to a directory any directory you can go or you can uh, get it from a any folder so wget and paste you just click right click copy and just right click it will paste it over here so it will download from uh, that particular location so so now it has uh, completed the download um, so you can type the command as ls it will show so in order to extract this file uh, then this one so purpose is not allowed enabled so it will not see so you are able to extract the file from here so go to cd ns all in one ns 3.42 now what you have to do is um, you have to make sure whether a g++ version greater than uh, uh, 9 or 10 so it's 11.4 then uh, 
सी में क्वेश्चन सो इट्स आल्सो थ्री लुक अपॉन द सो द प्रीरुकेसिटीज इट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन थ्री पॉइंट वन पॉइंट ओ सो सो इट्स थ्री पॉइंट टू टू इज ग्रेटर देन दैट सो दिस आर द टू मेन thing you need to uh, know in order to build or uh, uh, ns3 so uh, then we need to configure that uh, ns3 in order to do that we need to check in the installation guide ns3 installation guide so Installing in S3. So here, this is the command. Copy. So it has identified the compiler and CMake. Uh, then it's showing the success. So now you can build so dot in S3. So based upon your RAM format, once hundred percentage of it is done. Dot in S3. Um, it's in the examples tutorial first dot cc. Oh sorry, so you have to give the command as run. So it's showing uh, already it, this this uh, NS three point four two is compiled. That's why uh, I'm getting the results right away. Um, once you build the file, it will take certain time. So fifteen minutes or twenty minutes or thirty minutes. Once that has been done, then you can come over here and run dot NS three run example tutorial first dot cc. Then uh, the output will come like this.